Hey everyone, haven't done a rant in a while, especially a video rant. I figured it's about time to uh, rant about something that I've done previously in print. Today I'm going to rant about how Facebook exploits your private information. Now, you've already willingly told Facebook who your friends are, what your hobbies are, how old you are, where you live, whether you're in a relationship or not. Um, they know your likes and dislikes what your interests are, your favorite movies, your songs, all simply from the updates you've shared and the like buttons that you've pressed. Big question is, though, are you happy for Facebook to exploit what they know about you? And the entire Facebook business model is based on the effective use of your data. Um, here's the deal. They give you a free social media platform to use, and in turn, they sell advertising and insights based on what they learn about you through your account. I mean, Facebook has massive capabilities to collect, store, and analyze data, um, which is they call big data analytics, whatever the heck that's for. <laughs> Anyhow, um, th th this whole big data analysis allows Facebook to sell very targeted advertising. You know, for example, someone living in the Midtown District of Manhattan who's single and who's interested in baseball and likes pizza. They know that, and they could market things and gear the advertising on his Facebook page specifically towards him. I mean, basically, all this knowledge is a marketing dream. But Facebook does go beyond simply analyzing um, your profile data that you've shared and the updates you've written. There had been an article, I don't know if it was a year ago, maybe two years ago, I think it was a year ago, that USA Today had. And they were showing how Facebook tracks you across the web and all your activity. And when you create your account, they insert a tracking cookie into your web browser that allows Facebook to track each website that you're visiting. Meaning that when you're logged into Facebook and then browse the web, completely separate from your Facebook activities, Facebook will know what, si what sites you're visiting. And yes, you can go and delete your history and clear out all your cookies and everything else. The minute you log back in, it's going to reinsert that info again, that the cookie again. Um, and there's more to it, too. I CNET had reported that whenever you click a Facebook like button on anything, your preference is not only shared with your friends and on your profile, but back to Facebook. The data about your interest of what you like is sent back to Facebook servers, which of course is ready to be provided or sold to their advertising partners. And the personal data is exchanged when you use apps too, like Farmville and any of those other apps that's available out there. It even has been reported that when you sign up for these apps, um, you are giving the companies who created and developed them access to your personal data. Even details that you've told Facebook to keep private, they are allowed to access. Facebook has also invested tons of money, as we all know, well, maybe not everyone knows, in their imaging processing for face recognition capabilities that allows Facebook to track you because, because it knows what you and your friends look like from photos you've shared. Well, it can search the internet and all other Facebook profiles to find pictures of you and your friends. And that's what allows Facebook to make tag suggestions for people on photos you've uploaded. But it's also mind-boggling on what else they could do with the technology. I mean, just imagine how Facebook can use computer algorithms to track your body shape. I mean, they can analyze your latest beach shots you've shared and compare them to old ones to the tech that you've put on some weight. It could then sell this information to some diet program or health club or something in your area who pays to put their local ad on Facebook and to gear it towards local people that could take advantage of their offer. So, are you comfortable with Facebook using your data? 
I mean, you might see it as a step forward where Facebook can find your long lost friends and and you you'll you might like the fact that Facebook can recommend you know relevant products and services. Some people do, some people don't. Or does it feel a little too much like Big Brother is watching you? I do you see it as an intrusion of your privacy? Does it scare you that Facebook knows everything about you and can exploit and sell what it knows? Does it make Facebook too powerful? And what do you think? I mean, yes, you can tighten your security settings on your Facebook account. And I don't know if they'd say it just for peace of mind. Because they still can use your information. But I guess it just makes people happy to know, oh, yeah, I'm saying don't do this, don't do that. And you can download software to block all your tracking activities. Um, there's what Ghostery and Do Not Track Me. Of course, the funny part is, you have no idea of knowing if they actually work, to be honest with you. I mean, they say they're working, but who really knows? I mean, you can use in private mode on Explorer or incognito on uh, Google Chrome. Again, sometimes I think these things are there just for the safe mind, you know, safe being of people that you know, keep them satisfied that their browsing is safe. But face it, people, I mean, the way the world is today and the way things have changed, you know, with the federal government, regarding privacy issues and the whole, um, you know, terrorism and um, all these other things, you know, that they, how do you know that they really don't know everything? I mean, just because you're installing stuff and, oh yeah, it's supposed to keep it private and you're in private browsing mode, you've got to be pretty naive to think that it really does wipe everything away because I'm sorry, but federal government, still overseas stuff you know you know damn well in the back of your mind that if they want to find out what you're doing online even in cognito mode there's a trace somewhere because after all you're in it you're getting your internet from a provider they're storing this stuff you know there's that saying that once it's out there on the internet it's out there everything that you do on the internet is out there somewhere on some server in history, anywhere, just because you took it off your computer doesn't mean it's gone. So, you know, par partially it's scary to know that your information's getting sold, first of all, because A, I could be making money off this. Heck, why aren't they paying me for my information? They're taking my information and selling it so I can get bombarded with all these stupid ads for things I really don't want or can't afford. That's how it goes. So just remember, you know, just because you tightened your security settings doesn't necessarily mean that Facebook isn't tracking you. And that, my friends, is all I have to say about that.